it's Sandy. Welcome back to Cute Polish. In today's nail art tutorial, Julie will be showing you 10 cute and easy nail art designs that can be created without using any professional nail art tools. Only items that you can find around your house. That's right, you're watching an ultimate guide to household item nail art. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Hi, it's Julie. Now let's jump into the tutorial. To get started, I'll first be applying a layer of base coat to protect my natural nails and help the designs last as long as possible. For this first design, we'll be using a Kitchen Essential Plastic Wrap. First, apply a layer of white polish to your nail to work as a base for the colors we'll be adding next. Next, I'm using a pink polish and dotting on blobs randomly over my entire nail. Then I did the same thing with a blue polish, but I applied it between the pink spots, and to break up the color just a little, I added some smaller white blobs in there as well. You have to work kind of quickly for this design because while the polish is still wet, lay the plastic wrap over the nail and smush it down. Don't move the plastic around too much, just press it down until you see the colors blend together. Then just peel off the plastic wrap and you're left with a really cool tie-dye effect. You can clean up any polish you got on your skin with a brush dipped in nail polish remover, then seal in the design with a top coat. And for a little extra design element, I just popped on a hollow black triangle frame decor piece. Next up, we'll be doing a bold animal print using just a sharpie. Start off with two coats of white nail polish and let it completely dry. To speed up the drying time, you can also add a layer of fast drying top coat. Now just grab a permanent marker and start doodling random C shapes and squiggles over your entire nail. I'm using a black marker because I wanted a monochromatic look, but you could totally do this in any color you'd like. And lastly, I just added some small dots in the empty spaces to fill out the print. This next design features a really cool 3D effect using a toothpick. Start by applying a strawberry red polish to your nail. You can do as many coats as you need to get it opaque. When that's about 75% dry, go ahead and apply a layer of matte top coat. Now you wanna let this layer dry until the surface is just barely set, but still dentable. Now take your toothpick and make dots all over your nail, slightly pushing the toothpick upwards. I made my little indentions in sort of a polka dot pattern, but I think this would have looked better with more dots in a more random fashion. You might also have to go over each dot a couple times to make sure it sets indented. Now just add some green leaves with a green polish to finish off this 3D strawberry. And I accidentally grabbed my nail art brush here out of habit, but you can absolutely use a toothpick to add these leaves. This next design uses the same technique, but with a floss pick. Start with a yellow polish and again apply as many coats as you need to get it opaque. Then apply a matte top coat once it's mostly dry. Now grab a floss pick, or I call them flossers, and start pressing it down into the polish in a diagonal fashion. I found it easiest to work in sections, starting in the middle, then getting the ends. Make some lines intersecting from the other direction to form a crisscrossing pattern just like a pineapple. And again, you might have to go over the lines a few times until they set. Finish off the pineapple with some green leaves and that's it! I think this one turned out so cool and it looks more difficult than it actually was. Moving right along, I'll show you how to achieve a perfect half moon mani using these garage sale price labels, or you can also use the whole reinforcer stickers. Start by applying one of the stickers right over the natural moon of your nail and securely pressing it down. And make sure you really stick it down in the edges. Now you can apply any polish you'd like over top. I'm using a gorgeous chunky silver glitter from the Cute Polish by NCLA collection called Crystal Ball. Now just remove the sticker and you're left with a crisp, clean moon cutout. You can also do this over a base color for a really cool color block look. For this next design, we're bringing the good old plastic wrap back and creating a dimensional turquoise design. Begin with a turquoise colored base and let it dry. Next, scrunch up a piece of plastic wrap into a small ball, then grab a gold polish and apply it over the plastic wrap and dab off the excess. Now just bounce that over the entire nail. The wrinkles in the plastic effortlessly create a veiny print just like a real turquoise. I repeated that same process with a black polish, then I went over that one more time with the original turquoise base color just to break it up a bit. Finish with a top coat and you're set! Next, I'll show you how to achieve a really cool fluffy cloud design using just a Q-tip. Start off with a blue base to represent a clear blue sky. Or you could also do a gradient in sunset colors, I think that'd be really pretty too. 
Once the blue dries, grab a cotton swab and dip it into some white nail polish. Then just start sponging the Q-tip on your nail in cloth shapes. The trick here is to build up the color in certain areas to really give it that fluffy dimension. Finish with a layer of top coat to keep your fluffy clouds from blowing away. Up next, we'll be using a simple pin to create a really cool drag marble design. For this design, I started with a layer of white polish to work as an opaque base for the colors we'll be applying over top. I also went ahead and applied a mani guard around my nail because this design is gonna get messy. Now grab your favorite colors and start applying generous amounts of polish all over the nail. Er, not that generous. Don't worry if this happens to you, that's why we have the mani guard. Now take the straight pin and start swirling around the colors. You have to do this while the polish is still wet to get a smooth color drag. Here I'm just taking a wooden stick and removing some of that excess puddling I had on the sides. Then you can remove the mani guard and clean up any leakage you had with a brush dipped in nail polish remover. Finish with a top coat to add a gorgeous shine and you're done. Up next, I'll show you how to create your very own nail decals using a plastic sandwich bag. I'm going to be making some really simple drag stars with white polish. To do this, just add a small dot of white polish onto the plastic bag and use a toothpick to pull the polish from the center into the points of the star. I didn't try to make these super perfect because I really liked the doodled hand drawn look of the stars. Next, go ahead and apply a layer of clear coat over top of the stars and let it dry completely. Once it's ready, you can use some tweezers to find an edge and then just peel off the decals. I applied these over top of a slightly wet layer of black polish and carefully smoothed them down with my finger. And to finish the design, I just added a few baby dots and sealed everything in with top coat. And for our last design, we'll be using some multicolored permanent markers to make a watercolor print. Just like with our last Sharpie design, begin with a white base coat and let it dry. And once it completely dried, I just started drawing on some flower petals with a pink marker. Now just take some isopropyl alcohol and a craft brush, or you could also use a Q-tip, and lightly go over the marker. The alcohol causes the marker to dilute and spread, giving it a really pretty watercolor effect. I also added some green leaves for more color, and I finished with a few black dots in the centers of the flowers. Finish with a layer of top coat to protect your design and add a beautiful shine, and that's it! 10 easy nail designs using items you can find right in your home. If you'd like to watch more fun and amazing nail tutorials on Cute Polish, just click this little box here or here. You can also subscribe by clicking here. Also, you can check out my personal channel by clicking the link in the description.